population the population has again two major features like increase or decrease in the previous we have discussed about how the population has been calculated the exact figures the absolute numbers and the percentages and all now the key factors like why we have to think about the population if you see from the 1950s to 1980s the trend has been that the population has been increasing continuously what are the factors that made them to increase the population one of the major factor of the indian context which influenced them is if they have a girl child they used to plan for a boy child to have the successor for their families which leads them for their further things but when it comes to late 1980s most of them got educated most of most of them got motivated towards the population growth and most of them were alarmed about the issues what are going to us then they came to the decrease of the population from 1980s onwards earlier we have the fertility levels of the women like in india we have 5.6 in 1960 like average we can have six children for a woman in her life span the fertility levels in athibati in her life span she can give birth to nearly 5 to 6 children but later in 2011 it came to 2.7 and now in ap if you take it is only 1.9 so the consciousness regarding the population growth has increased to the many people that we should not have more people like 5 children 6 children 10 children 20 children like that but plan and assess them like only one kids or two kids so the population growth also will not increase much and at the same time we can give them a better future if we have the limited number of children we can plan for them properly so these all brought them into their minds that the proper criteria should be assessed before giving birth to a number of children what they are growing and what they are going to do if we are going to give more number of births for them how it is going to affect the nation because of a person thinking like this if every person in the nation thinks like we should have five children six children automatically the population goes on increasing at a rapid rate and the population growth will affect the country's economics also the most important point the population density plays a crew and vital role in all the issues here what is the meaning of the word density when you take an area of 1 km on all sides of one area the number of people living in this area is called density the number of people living in particular area for 1 square km of distance is called density so the density of india if you take according to 2011 census it is 382 the number of people living in one square kilometer is 382 so you may get a doubt sir generally in india if you are having only 382 people do we have the same number of people in jammu and kashmir also or same number of people in the kanyakumari or in the thar desert region or in the northeastern states no this is an average estimated according to the population of 2011 the actual thing is that for india if you take it is 308 when it comes to west bengal it is 904 when it comes to arunachal pradesh it's only 13 so it varies from state to state as it is going on from state to state it's varying the average is taken as 382 so density keeps on varying according to place to place for example even in our state also we don't have the same thing when it compares to the other regions for example in krishna district you may have more when compared to the adilabad district or in the anantapur districts in the same way in delhi you may have the density more when compared to the other regions of the nation so as it goes on changing the things for us to understand the density is to number of people living there we can't estimate that all over india we have the same number of people living in the same density of 1 km areas so the density depends on the areas location the fertility like land the available resources what we are getting in that place for example in delhi you have more number of density more when compared to the other things in bombay you have more in chennai you have more or in kolkata you have more at the same thing you don't get more in hyderabad when compared to delhi when you compare hyderabad to the other regions again you get the variation there so density is just to analyze the areas what is the density of that place so density is nothing but the number of people living in this 1 square kilometer of area of a specific unit the number of people staying in that area that is the only criteria for assessing the density density of india is more in some areas extremely high in some areas extremely low this variation is there because of their local issues of that particular area